recognize your talent from the first time I heard your music. It's, it's a breath of fresh air, you know, and I think our music speaks the same language in very different ways. Um, so when we work together and put those two styles that could be considered possibly in the same genre, when they merge, it's just, to me, it's something that's very very beautiful. Sorry, I'm going to bring it back a little bit. maturity levels, you know, from a musical standpoint, it's, it's really easy to see and it's nice to hear and the stuff that you're putting out now and, and, and producing, I thought your stuff sounded great then, but when I hear what you're doing now, it's just like a night and day difference in a very short amount of time. Just hitting that local CVS game. Protein bars, rock stars. You want anything? Um, I'm probably gonna end up getting like a sparkling water. <laughs> so California, of you, bro. Two, three. I feel like never shop for food in the protein section. I was just like where there's medicine yeah, bottles. This is a nutritional area. It's not just for protein. You want to keep it simple. I could very well be feeling this heat right here. <laughs> this is like computer juice. But I'm not getting all of it. There you go. I'll put some of these back. I hope so. When I write, when I get in these zones where I'm just so consumed with, with the project, you know, it's it's hard for me to break away from the computer or, or the playing and, and the writing. So I'll just I'll stock up on bars and then obviously the energy drinks that kind of goes without saying. But I do really like the sugar-free fruit punch rock star. It is really solid. That's your go-to. Yeah. My go-to now.
Do you currently have any as we're interviewing? I do. I do. I have both, actually. All three that I mentioned. All three? Yeah, the protein drink, the Metrix protein bar, and the <laughs> fruit punch rockstar. which I love and I, I feel like that foundation that I'm getting now that I didn't have you know when I started playing guitar because all I want to do is play fast and play lead so I just kind of skipped all these levels that were so important um, you know learning how to play rhythm guitar or play on time um, stuff like that to me didn't matter but now I'm, I'm, I'm getting all that in my hands and my, my, my head through the piano and it's reflected through my playing uh, the guitar. It's so amazing to see that the power of that instrument work through myself in, in other ways. Do you ever get creatively frustrated? Um, and, then how do you, and then how do you express that? To me, if I'm if I if I have any writer's block, or if I'm getting frustrated with something, that means that I'm I'm in my own head. I'm getting in my own way. So usually, means I probably just need to take a breather and come back when my head is clear and, and ready to write. I just, <laughs> I'm dad first, um, but I guess I wear many different hats, but they're all included in, this, in, in the same hat. So dad and, and artist are, are synonymous with, with one another. I love that my kids get to see everything that I'm doing. They, they see the effort, you know, they see the ups and the downs. And, but to me, that's important because... They need to understand that, you know, failure is a part of life. It's what you do well, after you get your ass kicked a few times. What are you going to do after that? <laughs> you know, just stay there. You're going to get up and keep fighting. So you know, that's, that's the kind of mentality I instill in, in my, my kids' heads, just to just keep going. You're never out of it. And I cover that on so many different levels and bases with both of my children and and it's easy to do that from an artist standpoint because it's it's tough putting yourself out there. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Bubba. How are you doing? I made a baby car. You know. <laughs> I was just in it. Let me see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it kind of looks like Tom made her a little bit. Oh, how was your Spanish class? Oh, good. And you liked your new teacher? Mm -hmm. That's good, Bubba. You have so much fun, okay? Okay. God bless you, Bubba. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. You no, know, my kiddos are my, my world. I do whatever I can 
to support what they want to do, and I encourage them to dream and 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 and, and try things that I would have been scared to try when I was younger. You know, because I want them to, I want their minds to roam free in this world. That's the only way that they're gonna find out what they truly want to do. Is by having the freedom to search so freely, I guess. That's fair. Yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> it's your boy. Uh, back from the video. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? How did I get here? Yeah. It's very broad, but there's an answer for everything. That's a good question. How did I get here? I experience, you know, understanding the world a lot differently than I did when I was my age. Your age, <laughs> yes. You know, wanting to make it in the music industry for all the wrong reasons. And now, it's about, it's about the music. Before it was about everything else. Girls <laughs> drinking, fucking partying my ass off, you know. Fame. Fortune. So, if that was your perception from then, do you think that your uh, music is more honest now? Yes. When I would write before, it was I've always I've always written honestly, but there were parts of me that still worried about what other people thought about my music and my writing. So, if there was something that hit me as too honest, you know, I would I would change it. I'd be writing lyrics and I would scratch it out and it, it would fall in the category of no, you probably shouldn't say that. Someone, you know, might worry about you or be offended or something like that. Now it's the only way I can express myself and be fair to myself as an artist is to just to, to be real and honest. I hope that people like what I do, but I'm not writing it for them. I'm writing it for myself. Do you think your your um, upcoming album is like the most honest you've ever written? I think I continue to write more and more honestly, but yes, the, 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 the odds LP, I mean, it is heart wide open, laid out there on the table for all to see. And I love that about it because if what I went through can help anyone, if people can relate to certain things that I've gone through and hear about it in a song, and, and, and they can see, okay, I see myself there in that song. And if it, if it can help someone get, get past you know, what they're going through or help them you know, through it, that's all I could ever really want for someone. Cause my music is to is for healing. <laughs> is that it? They have it. They have GPS.
be sponsored in this company.